Hello everyone, this is James Shore with another Test Driven Development episode. So uh, when we left off, we were just getting the uh, idea of a dollars class that could do, deal with floating point numbers, but not expose that fact outside of itself. Um, so let's just go ahead and keep on doing that. I want to say that uh, $10 is equal, or appears to be equal to $10.10. .10. Um, and we're going to have to do that with no rounding, and then later uh, with rounding. But let's make this a little more clear. Actually, no. I think that assert equals is right. That will say expected 10 uh, was, well, no. No, no, no. We, we want this to be equal. And I think, I, I'm just thinking about how this will read when it fails. Um, there. All right, and now we don't have anything that takes a double, so let's add that. Really glad in the last episode we got rid of the two int method. That was a clunky little workaround. Really glad we got rid of that. Um, because it's a big improvement. Now, easy way to make this work is just that. Yeah, there we go. So, um, well, or not, what's going on here? Why did that even... That was interesting. Why did that even pass before? It should have failed. Oh, uh, that's interesting. I don't think I like that very much. Wow. Okay. Well, that's not super helpful. And the thing is, is I think they had to add in explicit code to make it ignore non-compiling tests. Is, is that going to... Huh. How weird. It must just uh, not see it as a test and then not execute it. Oh well. Um, now there's some rules about how uh, on how that's supposed to work. I'm not sure if I want to code those rules or not. It's um, it's just, they're, they're picky rules that don't matter for the numbers that we're dealing with. I think what I want to do is have it work the same way as it does in the spreadsheet. Um, so I might need to do a little bit of testing on that. Okay, so... those tests read a little better, should round up, didn't, um, and that's because we are just truncating. So now comes the fun part. We get to change this to a double. Oops. Do I need to do that, or will it just, yeah, it will just convert. And uh, I can just regenerate these. That's still going to fail. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, 
broke the rules by refactoring with a failing test. I'm going to back that up. And take it a little slower. So let's take this one out. And then Okay, so that refactoring broke the test, and I'm not sure why. Right, um, of course, it's because we're not actually rounding in our equals method. So now it looks like we get to write a custom equals method. which isn't going to hurt my feelings because this code is pretty nasty as it is. Um, now I'm not going to do the same level of checking that, uh, that the generated code does because I actually want it to fail faster than the generated code does. If we ever pass in a null here, for example, um, I want it to fail. If, uh, if we ever pass in a non-dollars, I want it to fail. I don't want it to return false. I want it to throw an exception because I should never be comparing a dollars to something else. If I am, um, I've made a mistake somewhere. So again, I want this to fail fast. So um, this is just as simple as returning uh, this dot amount equals that dot amount. This will still fail because I'm not truncating, um, but now I will and it should pass. We have to fix two string. Okay, there we go. So now, um, should round up. And I think I can just do some sort of uh, math dot round thing. Perfect. Great. And um, let's go ahead and factor this code out. I will make it private.
excuse me. Okay. Um, and if I recall cor correctly, it's been a long time since I've programmed this, but um, I think the rules are is if you have an odd number, then it should round one direction, and if you have an even number, it should round the other direction when you're looking at um, exactly, exactly on the halfway point. That's not what I, I don't think that's what we've got uh, happening with our math.round. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I don't know that I want to well that looks like it's rounding up. Yeah, so let's just codify that. Um, let's say that We should round up when uh, we have exactly descents. Um, should yeah, that's good enough. That documents what we need to document. So there we go. Now our value object is doing what it needs to do. Um, now let's have uh, two string work properly. And I think I'm going to do that code again because it does read nice and cleanly. Yep, it's uh, there we go. Nice and clean. All right, that's it for our time for today. Um, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.